pretty excited about this one. I finally get to try out this Micro Green Dot by ADE Optics. So, let's go ahead and see how it works. Now I zeroed it at home with a laser bore sighter, so I'm hoping it's on, but there's a chance it could still be off. So, let's see how it is. I'm gonna have to get this re-zeroed in because it seems like it's aiming low. I was hitting high and to the left, or low and to the left, so I adjusted it. And also, these two screws right here, I believe, lock the zero in place so it won't move at all. So I've gotten some good shots on it since then. And of course, there's an airplane flying by right now. <laughs> So, let's get to it. Well, right now with the pandemic going on and each shot I take costing one dollar. It's probably the worst time to learn how to use a micro dot for the first time. But hey, it's whatever. So yeah, let's see how we're doing now. Now that I got a little more experience with it, I know when you use an optic like this on a handgun, as opposed to with a rifle, how you usually close one eye and aim, with this, you're supposed to keep both your eyes open and just look right down at the dot. So, I'm getting used to that at the same time of hoping this thing is zeroed sufficiently. So, let's give it another try. Yeah, this thing works pretty damn good. Man, it's hard to aim through your phone screen with the green dot, that's for sure. <laughs> At least I hit it once, though. Yeah, see, it just takes a few seconds to get the dot lined up. It's actually kind of hard to find exactly where it is, but I'm sure once you get used to it, it won't be that big of an issue. Yeah, see, it was way down there. I was looking right here. You gotta... Okay, I'm gonna try kind of lining my side up with this dot right there, see if that helps. Back a further. No quick draw this time, just seeing how the optics work. Yeah, now we're dead on. I made some adjustments after the last time I cut, so.
Oh, see the sunlight. That's why I'm glad it's a green dot and not a red dot, because it's hard for me to see red dots when the sun is shining directly down your line of sights. So, now that the sun just decided to come out. So once I got used to this thing and I got it sighted in, it works great. I'm really impressed with it, especially for the low price of about, I think it was six seventy-five dollars or something like that. But yeah, I'll go ahead and link this ADE optic in the description. This is my first time hands-on with it and I'm really impressed. I did hear from a couple other YouTubers that I talked to about this optic that they already reviewed it that he tried shooting it the first time without putting any Loctite on it and I actually Loctited the mount the two screws that go down in on the mount and then I Loctited the actual optic right here onto the mount so it's got double Loctite on it and it didn't seem to have any issues once I got it zeroed and then tightened these two screws that make it so you can't adjust the windage and the elevation. I actually went in with the screwdriver to test it and the screw wouldn't move while these two screws were pushed down locking them in place. So yeah, it's definitely a great optic from my first impressions for such a cheap price and designed in Oregon. Well, go ahead and give me a like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good rest of your weekend.